Here we are at number eight at Boulder Ridge Golf Club. I've just faded it to the right. Probably gonna have a pretty difficult lie when I get up there. So let's go check it out. Hi, my name is David Nesbitt. I'm the Director of Instruction at Boulder Ridge Golf Club. And what we're gonna try to learn today is how to hit better side hill shots when you're in the fairway or just off the fairway. Boulder Ridge is known for having uneven lies, not too many level lies here. And so what we're gonna try to do today is get you to understand not only proper swing and setup technique, but understand ball flight tendencies and why the ball curves or goes in a certain direction when, you have, when you're faced with a side hill lie. Now one thing I wanna show you here is what happens when you are faced with a level lie versus a side hill lie. In a level lie, this black uh, stick that's, that's extending from my golf club face shows that the ball is going to go very straight if my, if my face is square to the target. As I get up to a side hill lie, so this is representing kind of a side hill lie, you'll notice that the stick actually points pretty far left of the flag where my intended target. So as the ball gets higher or more above my feet, the more left that ball is going to probably travel. That's the ball flight tendency. So let's go ahead and try our shot right now. We're going to talk a little bit about setup and swing fundamentals and how we can make this shot a better, a better result. Follow me. Okay, as you can see from my setup here, the ball is well above my feet. What's going to happen here is this ball, like we discussed earlier, is going to want to fly to the left. So I'm going to probably want to aim to the right of my intended target line. The most common uh, problem that people face here is they either chunk the ball, they pull the ball left, or they hook it left. And there is no room left on this hole. So we got to make sure that we're aiming maybe even at that bunker in the background just to anticipate that the ball goes a little left. And if it goes to the right and goes in the bunker, well that's better than going left in the boulders. So when I set up, I want to always grip down on this particular shot. Because the ball is on the side hill lie, the ball is actually closer to our body than if we were if the ball was on a level lie or below our feet. So I always grip down and I always take one extra club. I always see people try to make a full swing on this particular shot. They bring the club all the way back to here. Well, if we take a full swing on these side hill lies, we end up losing our balance and that's when we that's when we miss hit the ball. Sometimes we top it, we chunk it, we pull it, but we want to try to take a nice controlled three-quarter swing. So if we're gripping down and we're not swinging as fast, we want to take one extra club. So here I've got about 150 yards in. I'd normally hit an 8 iron, but in this case I'm going to hit a 7 iron. Now when I set up, I want to put the ball position right in the middle of my feet. I don't want to put it too far forward or too far back. It's going to be a nice controlled swing. So the bottom, the bottom of my swing or the apex of my swing should happen right in the middle of my stance. When I'm also setting up, you'll notice that I'm standing a little more upright than I normally would for a normal shot because the ball is closer to my body. <clears throat> if I can keep this posture and this, this spine angle throughout the swing, I'll have a much more consistent swing and I'll probably strike the ball cleanly every time. So instead of going like this and losing my posture, we're going to try to keep my posture consistent throughout the swing. Notice three-quarter swing. If I do that, I'll sweep the grass, or at least not chunk the ball. Okay, so let's try this shot out. I also like to feel my weight kind of uh, right in the middle of my feet, maybe even slightly towards my toes, but never back on my heels. If I get up back on my heels, I'll fall down the slope, and I'll end up missing the ball. Okay, so I've gripped down. I'm aiming at that bunker, the first bunker. Got the ball positioned in the middle of my stance. I'm going to take a three-quarter swing and try to keep my posture as constant as possible. All right, let's try it out. Okay, just short of the green. Ball hooked a little left, but I'm in a very safe spot. I have a very good chance of getting up and down. I didn't chunk it. Took a nice, smooth three-quarter swing. Took one extra club, and I'm in pretty good shape. I hope this tip helps for these side hill lies with the ball above your feet. Our next tip will try with the ball below your feet. Okay, so here we are now where we have a side hill lie where the ball is below our feet. 
Now this is probably the hardest shot of the, of the two side hill lies. Now I like to grip all the way down on the club. Because we're already reaching for the ball, we don't want to make the club shorter, we want to make it as long as possible. What I also like to do when I set up is I like to bend a little more at the knees than I normally do. If this is my normal stance right here, I'm actually bending over a little more. We've got to get our body lower to the, to the ground to, to reach this ball. I've also bent over a little more at the waist, and this is where it becomes difficult to maintain that posture throughout the swing. Just like when the ball was above our feet, we want to take a controlled three-quarter swing. I like to feel my weight more towards my heels. If I get the weight on my toes, I'm going to fall forward and lose my balance, and that's when bad shots occur. So I've got my weight more towards my heels. I bent more at the knees. I bent over more at the waist, and I'm going to take a swing just about that far back. If I can do that and hit a solid, hit the solid shot that I'm looking for, the ball will go a little bit lower, but I should be able to hit the center of the club face. That's my goal on this shot. So I'm going to aim to the left because the ball is going to fly to the right. And as I look at this shot, this hole. I want to go right anyway, so this actually might work in my favor. Okay, ball position still in the middle of our stance. I'm aiming left of my target. I've taken one extra club because I know that as I make a three-quarter swing, I'm not going to hit the ball as far. And I'm just going to try to make a nice smooth swing and accept that the ball is going to fly to the right. It's okay if I slice it here. I'm expecting it to. All right, so I'm going to try to keep my posture throughout the swing. Too much club there. I guess there was a little wind. I didn't check the lie for the flyer, but I hit it good. I kept my posture. I took a nice smooth swing. I hope these tips help you. My name is David Nesbitt. I'm the director of instruction at Boulder Ridge Golf Club. Thanks for watching my videos. And hopefully you'll hit some good shots just like that. Thanks.